How could you do this to me, Josh Harbour? I trusted you. I gave you my trust. Why would you do this to me? Why? Huh? Oh, hey, guys. Sorry you caught me at a bad time. I'm still crying over the new episode. Don't worry. It was good. It was good. But... Oh, Celestia, why? J j just cue the title card. I'll get over this. Hush now, little sister. You're loved by all you know. You'll never lose their... Okay, first review of the episode, and then we talk about my personal problem. Whoa, we got our first episode about the CMC of the season. How does this one rank with the others? Let's find out. Well, I guess this episode wins the award for the most unexpected surprise. Vaz getting her key mark. I don't think anybody saw that coming. However, trouble begins to brew when Apple Bloom begins to think exactly what will happen when she does get her key mark. And she doesn't like it. Alrighty, this episode is doing a great job by showing that the CMC are still growing and moving forward. How, you may ask? Well, think about how far they come. In the beginning of the series, the CMC were very chaotic and desperate to earn their cutie marks. However, as time went on, they finally learned to be a little patient earning their cutie mark. With this new episode, they are now questioning what the future will bring with their cutie marks finally do show up. Showing that they are really starting to come into their own even more. Apple Bloom starts having panic attacks of sorts, but thankfully we have Applejack who calms her down with a sweet lullaby. Hush now little sister, you're loved by all you know. You'll never lose their friendship, no matter where you go. There ain't no call to worry, so don't you cry or fret. A cutie mark won't change you, no matter what you get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I haven't got much sleep, and that lullaby was just beautiful. I'll touch more into this later. With this, we enter Apple Bloom's nightmares, or as I like to call it, the major worries of the future. There are many things that kids, teens, and even adults worry about what the future will hold. However, I like to say that these are the most common fears of the future and the roots of others. We first have living a life we don't want, friendship ending, family disappointed and or abandoning us, life not changing, and unable to escape our fate. Yup, better get on my soapbox for this discussion. These are honest fears that anybody can relate to at any time of their life. We all dream big about becoming famous, getting our dream jobs, fitting in, etc. Apple Bloom's nightmares are a perfect representation of exactly what people are afraid of in the future. Well, except for stupid diamond TR on Silver Spoon. Honestly, did we really need them? It's almost as if they were paid for this. Oh wait, one dimensional characters. Moving on, Apple Bloom's nightmares begin to take a turn for the worse. With Apple Bloom's nightmares about to take over completely, who should come to the rescue but Luna? Completing the CMC Dreams Trilogy. We learned that the one that has been causing this whole mess is Apple Bloom's own shadow. This is a great symbolism because what we don't realize or even forget sometimes that our greatest fear for the future is ourself. This ties in perfectly with one of the most simple yet powerful morals. It's our own fear and doubt that we have to get over. We are who we are and nothing is going to change who you are except you. All our friends and family love and will continue to love us because we are who we are. The best part has got to be when I figured out that this whole moral can be wrapped up as Applejack's lullaby. Awesome! This was such a great episode with one of the most powerful morals. I will admit, I like some other CMC episodes better, but I think this one wins for best moral. Like Luna said, many people need to learn this moral, and that's nothing to be ashamed of. Heck, sometimes you need to remember something this simple. Like Phoenix and the Mio would say, return to the basics when you feel lost. Now, before I end this episode, I bet some of you are wondering why I was crying. Well, I was crying about the Sweetie Belle scene. I was so excited when I saw that scene in the teaser, thinking she would finally get her cutie mark. But nope, Josh Harbour had to crush my dreams by trolling me. Yeah, I know it's nitpicky, but come on, really? <sighs> well, whatever. This episode was great and had an amazing moral. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more of my videos. While you wait for some of my videos, check out Master Code Ace Analysis and Canned Cream for more MLP videos. Until then, I'm Creator Lynx, signing off. Hush now, little sister, you're loved by all you know. You'll never lose their friendship, no matter where you go. There ain't no call to worry, so don't you cry or fret. A cutie mark won't change you, no matter what you get.